Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Healthspan. Today we'll have a look at a study about NMN counteracting the effects of aging on mesenchyme and stem cells, and in doing so, helping to fight osteoporosis. Always good to see another positive study on NMN. First, a disclaimer that in this video, we are sharing a study that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Here is the paper, NAP1L2 drives mesenchyme and stem cell senescence and suppresses osteogenic differentiation. Three. A quick run through of the main points. The stem cells in our bone marrow need to differentiate to create bone cells to maintain our bone health. As they grow senescent, this impacts their ability to differentiate, but the key regulators of this are not known. In the study, they looked at BMSCs from young and old donors and identified NAP1L2 as a protein which was correlated with senescence and impaired bone generation. They investigated the mechanism through which NAP1L2 was causing this senescence. And they found that NMN could dock with NAP1L2 and testing this did show a reduction in senescent phenotypes of the BMSCs. They also showed that in vivo, NAP1L2 expression was associated with less bone generation. The main point of their conclusion was that NAP1L2 was a regulator of BMSC, cell senescence, and bone cell generation. Bones are in a constant process of breakdown called resorption and generation. Our bone health is in part dependent on the ratio of these two processes. Mesenchyme and stem cells are found in the bone marrow and have the ability to differentiate into many types of cells, such as fat or muscle cells. In this study, they were looking at the ability to become osteoblasts or bone cells, which is part of the process of building bone tissue to replace that which is resorbed. When new bone cells are not made, the bone density will be reduced by resorption, which leads to osteoporosis. The first thing they did was to characterize the difference between young and old BMSCs, where they looked for signs of cellular senescence by looking for the presence of SA-beta-gal, P21 and P16, and found them elevated in the cells from the older donors. They also looked for the gene expression changes between the cells, and they found that NAP1L2 in particular was elevated in the older cells. Using a docking prediction tool called AutoDock, it seemed that NMN would be a good candidate to dock with NAP1L2 and inhibit its expression. They put etoposide, a chemotherapy medication, to cause senescence on BMSCs in vitro. And they looked for SA-beta-gal expression, a key marker for senescence. We can see that there was a big jump with the cells treated with etoposide which was partly ameliorated by the addition of NMN. Expression of SASP factors was also reduced. This graph shows the expression of messenger RNA for various components of SASP, such as P21, NAP1L2, and interleukin-6. And finally, they looked at BMSCs from patients with osteoporosis. Firstly, seeing the elevated expression of NAP1L2 in those with osteoporosis, and secondly, looking at the correlation of NAP1L2 and bone mineral density, where increased expression was correlated to reduced BMD. The bulk of the study was the investigation of NAP1L2 as a regulator of BMSC senescence and differentiation. What I found interesting was that they also found that NMN, by binding to the NAP1L2 protein, could suppress its expression and reduce its impact. In our own N of 1 trial, we have seen that the bone mineral density of both my wife and I has improved. We are taking a probiotic for this, but potentially NMN has been helping as well.